Jotform versus WooCommerce, two excellent systems to start selling products. Each one comes with its advantages and disadvantages. You will notice the advantages on Jotform, it's that it's easy to set up, easy to start selling, no maintenance for security plugins, installations, bandwidth, hosting, and you don't have to worry anything about that. On the other hand, we have WooCommerce, which is highly customizable, but it comes with a lot of settings, setup, security issues, and a lot of maintenance. So you would have to decide at the end of the day, if you're looking for something simple, easy to set up, Jotform would be the way to go. And if you're looking for something complex, highly customizable, WooCommerce would be the way to go. Now, what I'm gonna do in this video is that I'm going to show you how easy it is to start selling on Jotform apps. And I'm also going to show you all the setup needed for WooCommerce if you want to start selling something. So let's head over to my desktop right now. All right, let's get started by building our job form app. In this case, we first need to create our form to sell our products. So let's go into create a form. We're gonna use a template for this and we're gonna surf around the templates that might be, fit our needs. So in this case, let's select industries, e-commerce, and we can swift through these, preview them, see which one we like the most to start selling our products. In this case, I'll select this one. There we go, it's just loaded. And we're gonna see that we have our elements on the left in case we wanna customize it more and our designer on the right. So the first thing that we're gonna notice is that it's missing the payment system. So let's go ahead and click on payment. And right now it's connected to PayPal business, but we're gonna switch it. Let's go into payments and we have all these payment gateways available. Now you're going to notice something. We don't have to install any additional plugin to actually get our payment gateway going. On the other hand, on WooCommerce, we do have to install the plugin. So in this case, we are going to switch to PayPal personal. Go ahead and select that, use this one. Okay, and all we have to do is add our email from PayPal. So I add, I'll, we'll add my email, let's press okay. And I'm going to drag my settings to the top, right? So my store. There we go, drag and drop. And we have these products available. Now in this case, if we want to create a new product, we just click on create new. You will notice that if we want to edit these, we can click on it, change the name, price, images, auto scale images required, select by default, show subtotal. You have all the settings right here, neatly done. We have options available for the additional variations of this product. We can add them here. So we can actually use this template and customize it to add our own products. Or you can start from scratch, delete them and add your own products. We can also use the stock if we want to enable this, just in case we have stock for some of these and we don't for others. So they can select a product that we don't have on stock. Let's turn this off for now. Let's go back. So in this case, what we just did is created the form for our online store. Now let's go ahead and jump into our Jotform apps to create our actual app. So let's go back to Jotform. Let's go into to the top drop down menu, go to my apps. Let's go and create a new app. And again, we're gonna use a template to make this faster. So there's several templates available here. You might like them or not. You can create one from scratch and you can preview them if you like. In this case, I'll use this one right here. So let's go ahead and select it. Use this template. There we go. And we can start from here to customize it. Now we have three pages added right now. We're gonna add one more. And this page, we are going to call it store. Okay, so let's go ahead and call it store. There we go. It's been added here and we're gonna add an element. So let's go into element. And we're gonna add a form, let's drag it here. And in this case, we're gonna select the one that we just created to sell our products. There we go, it's been added and it's been added as, as a button right now. What we want to do is go into settings and we're gonna use show form. So in this case, when they open up the form, well, the section, it's going to show our store. There we go, this is how we're going to preview it. And we're gonna also add a button that's gonna go to this section. So let's go ahead and add a button down here. There we go, we're gonna update it to say online store. 
and we're going to tell it to navigate to a page. In this case, it's going to navigate to our store page. There we go. And let's give it a little bit of styling here. Change style. Um, let's grab something like that. There we go. Let's keep it like that for now. And let's go ahead and preview this. Okay. Just to show you how it's going to look. So in this case, oh, click on that. In this case, what's going to happen is that we are ready to go live. Obviously, you'd customize this and we go live, but you don't have to worry about hosting a shared hosting, a BPS to get it starting. So if I click on online store, it's going to take me to my store and we're able to view our products. These are the products that are available. You can see right there. So if I select, you know what? I want five of these products and I want medium and the color yellow. And you know what? I'll take two of these and I'll keep it on green and two pair of shoes, size nine and a half, right? So here's my total $35. And in this case, I'll fill up my name. There we go. My email. I'll keep the contact number for now. I'll just say test address CD San Diego, California. I had two, one, five, four. And in this case, United States. Is it the same shipping address? Yes. Send us a gift. No special instructions. We're good to go and submit the order. There we go. It's going to open up the PayPal gateway and we're ready to make our purchase as simple as that. You customize it and you have a nice looking store already set up. Now we can also navigate through the settings here. We want to go to the store or the button that we've created. Now you might have noticed that the store has a white background that might not go with our settings here. Well, all we have to do is go into the settings, scroll to this page. There we go and click on the form and we can go ahead and edit this form. This will open up the editor when we've previously created our form and we can use designer and use a theme or design something that goes more to the app that you're creating. But just like that, let's go back. We have a publishable job form app. We can share this link or we can generate a QR code and start sharing our code so people can start buying our products. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's super easy to set up. Once you get that theme going, everything nice and everything just set up the way you like it, it's easy and set. Now, let's go to WooCommerce. Like I mentioned before, WooCommerce is highly customizable, but there's a lot of settings that you're going to need to set up. Now, in this case, I have a fresh installation of WordPress. Now, bear in mind that for obvious reasons, you would have to have already a domain that you have to purchase, a hosting provider where you're hosting that domain, install WordPress, and you're going to get here. So as of now, you have to do all those steps to get to this point. Now, what if you want to start selling? Remember, this is WordPress. Well, we have to install WooCommerce. We're going to have to go into plugins and we're going to search for WooCommerce. Click enter. And this is WooCommerce. We have to install this. And now it's activated. There we go. It's been activated and here is WooCommerce installed. Now we'd have to go through these first steps to start our journey with WooCommerce. So what I'm going to do is fill this out so I don't take a lot of your time. So let me fill this out really quickly. Okay. Select the industry that you are in. Go health and beauty. Let's go ahead and continue. We're going to sell physical products, download subscriptions, memberships. In this case, we want to sell both because that is possible on job form. Also, how many products do you plan to display? I don't know. Say one to 10 currently selling elsewhere. We're going to say no. We don't want to tell them we're selling that job form. Okay. Add recommended business features to my site. Why not? Let's go ahead and add it. There we go. Now it's asking us to select the theme. This is the current theme. Now you're going to notice that we have to do a lot of customization to actually get a store going on WooCommerce. So let me show you what this theme actually looks right now. So let's head on over to 
my test site that we've just installed. Let's go do it. So this is our site as of now. So this is what's going on. So it's not a store right now. So this is the setup. They are recommending these themes. Some are free, some do cost. Um, that will depend on what you want to use or if you've purchased other themes and you want to use them here. So in this case, they are asking all these um, per year. We'll select a free one for now, which is um, actually pretty basic, but let's go ahead and choose this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and use it. There we go, it's been installed. So we have installed WooCommerce and we installed a theme. Heads up, we haven't finished. There's a lot of settings that we have to configure to get this started. So we've just started with the store details. We have to add products, get paid with WooCommerce payments, so add our payment gateway, set up tax, set up shipping, set up marketing tools, personalized store, and things to do next. So a lot of things that you have to do. And let's go ahead and add a product. So in this case, we'll start with a template and we're gonna choose physical product because that's what we created on top form. So let's do the same over here. Now you're going to see that there's a lot of settings to set up to actually get one product going. So we have the product name, in this case we'll say t-shirt, okay? And we have the description for this t-shirt. We're gonna say, um, I don't know, nice looking t-shirt. <laughs> we'll keep it simple, okay? And on the bottom we have the general details about this shirt. So for example, how much does it cost? We have a regular price and a sale price. So we can have a lower price where it's gonna slash the regular price and show you the better price. So we'll say $35, which is $10 less than it normally would. If this was a virtual product, we'd select one of these two. The inventory, if we want to have that, it's in stock or not in stock, or choose the amount of stock available. Um, shipping details, linked products, in case you wanna link this to another one, to create variants, variants, so you could see that that's not so simple in this system. Attributes, advanced options, get more options, product short description. So this is a simple product short description and the image for the product image that we want to use. Plus there's, there's also other tags like product tags that you want to add. The category for this, you'd select one of these or add a new category. And if you're good to go, we can publish this one. So let's go ahead and publish it. Okay. And we can go ahead and view it. So let's click on it. And here is the t-shirt product that we just created. Now you can see that we haven't done anything to the site. We haven't set up anything with the theme. We're just looking at the product and we have something here that doesn't go here. We don't have a logo. We have to set up colors, our footer and all that good stuff. So none of that has been done. And we also haven't connected our payment gateway. So let's go ahead and go into WooCommerce settings. Now you're gonna see there's a lot of settings here. We're gonna go into payment. And this is the section where we can add our payments. So you can see we have WooCommerce payments, direct bank transfer, check payments, cash on delivery. And if we want to use, for example, Stripe or PayPal, well, we can go ahead and get started with it. In this case, again, we're gonna keep it simple, as simple as possible with WooCommerce. There we go, connect our PayPal, agree and connect, agree and connect, hold on, let me click on it, there we go. Go back to WooCommerce, and there we go. Now we have a payment gateway connected. So that means, what is the next step? Well, adding more products, and we have to customize our theme since that will vary a lot on what theme you're going to use and will depend on what you want to do with the theme, well, you'd have to do that with your own. You go into appearance, we have the theme right here. Right now it's using this one. If I wanted to install a new one, I click on it right here. If I want to customize it, we'll go into customization. Okay, this is our setup right here. So this is our site right now and you viewed it, it's pretty simple. We have the site identity where we're gonna change what it says. For example, instead of website, we're gonna say my Woo store. There we go, it just updated, or we can add a logo to it, change the tagline, set the fab icon. We have the header, the footer, the background, typography, buttons, layouts. 
move around, update the widgets. This section is the widgets. So if I click on it right here, it's going to take me to the customization of widgets. And those widgets will also be updated on the product page. This is the main page. So a lot of settings that you'd have to go through to actually get a site going to start selling. And let me go away from this. Another thing that you have to be aware with WooCommerce and WordPress is that you have to maintain it and take care of it. What does that mean? Like I mentioned before, you have to previously have a hosting provider and you also have to take care of security issues. So you would also have to install a plugin for security because you'd have to take care of all of that. And you have to be aware that there's memory RAM, there's storage, there's bandwidth, that you have to be aware of what your service provider is actually providing you. On the other hand, we have job form app, which is straightforward, easy to set up. You don't have to worry about security issues, hosting, bandwidth, and it's super easy to set up and start selling products. So you can view just on this video without going through a lot of customization on WooCommerce, how complex it actually is. And like I mentioned in the beginning, if you're looking for something easy to use to start selling products, Jotform apps would be the way to go. But if you're looking for something highly customizable and you know that you have to do a lot of setup and maintenance, WooCommerce would be the way to go. So we hope that this video actually helped you out to decide what would be the best approach to start selling products on your online store. We thank y'all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.